welcome everybody thank you for joining in so this one this tutorial just a beginner tutorial just to show how to create a rigid body simulation plus this smoke uh, and bio explosion both done in Houdini and uh, rendered in blue shift so this is the effect that we are uh, going to create but I will show you the process of creating it okay so we'll see it just another time With a lot of disturbance and fire okay so this is the scene uh, I started with this container that's already had UV so I applied material and the material is a redshift material like this one that if, if I uh, you can, uh, because with redshift you can view in the viewport so if you go to out you say I create here uh, a redshift material not IVR let's say this one here one of these uh, one is viewport IPR and also it's available here viewport IPR so when you press on it it will uh, be activated in the viewport just give it a second so I think it's loading now I'm not mistaken, let's do it again. Import IP. Again, as you can see, it's interactive. So, this way you can check the material. So, if you go here, you can create under the shift RS material builder. And in the builder, I um, think this one, this is the output, this is the material. RS material you have a preset you can choose from I kept it on the default here I added the texture as in ACES also I added uh, the pump and the roughness also for it so this is the material for the lighting we used HDRI lighting like 4k so we have a good illumination and you can rotate it here and it's interactive okay uh, so here let's talk about the about about the RBD so this is the material I, I will stop the viewport okay so I blast it the front door because this is the one I'm interested in demolishing and I fill it up I remove any intersection inside give it uh, using RPD material fracture and give it uh, 100 fracture pieces just a straightforward also I configure the RBD RBD configure you go here down to RPD RPD configure okay why I did this one because I wanted the bottom part to be bent not moving not active so visualization I choose active and when I press on this arrow I can select the areas I want or the pieces that I want to be included press enter and here I press on this one Initial to be active, now it's inactive. So as you can see, it's black. We select, everything is included. This one will go to the simulation, it will be fixed. So this is the simulation. I added a sphere, and the sphere is moving. Just quick animation like this. 
and to make it uh, to take the animation and make it uh, trans uh, moving in the RBD solver the solver collision you should choose create deformed static object so it will uh, capture the movement so when you play it this is the simulation nothing fancy this is the remaining of the box or the container both merge and both I send them out so they are ready let's choose one of the cameras as you can see the down part is not simulated it will affect the other but it will not be affected a grid for the ground and now uh, for the pyro first I merge the container I extruded it a little bit and convert it to a VDB because I want the VDB to be in the collision and it's called surface here so we have one VDB volume that's surface that I use it inside the biosolver yeah I used uh, the fixed size 0.05 very dense here this is the center compared to the container I moved it inside the door and uh, explosion ID initial frame started uh, at 3 also I make sure it start here at frame 3 when the when the what you call it 1 2 3 when the collision the breakage start in this frame so it will be together the virusol I just manipulated the setting the important one the spreading of the bar first to this area minus one in the x axis I can view it like this and it's not spreading on the sides so the spreading angle is low this one okay. so most of the smoke will come from this area then we need to rasterize it the velocity the burn temperature and density and here is the virus holder so we run I made sure the shape buoyancy is low this is the default uh, fit range and the reference temperature 2000 compared to the ambient 300 so this will be included in the buoyancy and the rising of the smoke wind is always better to add wind so it's not static disturbance turbulence and shedding so we don't have this mushroom effect after that what did I do yeah then I cache it and to make the size smaller I go to the biosolver to the export I choose convert VDB to 16 bits so it will be smaller in size so this is the simulation see this is uh, so the resolution of point 0.1 and this one at point 0.05 this is point 0.1 this is point 0.5 so complete difference after that I textured the volume or applied the uh, material and the material is let me stop this one I want this one it was simulating here I don't want it to simulate ok so if you go to the material here you create another uh, RS material builder this is the output 
this is the volume because uh, redshift accept volume and VDP from Houdini so this is the volume here two things I played with I changed the min and max I just put the simulation min and max for the density and the min and max for the emission I crank it up, up to 10 then in the basic the scatter is a density the higher you know maybe I can uh, report IPR okay so let me go here density and flame why oh, it's not seeing here I will check it anyway import IPR for get render view reload oh, I think the because I put the flag here if you press R and choose it will come immediately so let me check the viewport IBR also it's working IBR here so it's working let's go to another frame where this smoke is there yeah. anyway so you see the elimination or the GI coming from the smoke also stop it give me a viewport let's choose a frame give it a second till it's loading or choose a frame where we can see the emission and the density like this so where are we at in the volume we talked about the ramping so you choose the minimum and the max and you crank up them like if we say we put the density up to 5 and we refresh like if we put this one 50 for the emission the emission is taken is from the flame not from the temperature if you can see another refresh now if you go to the basic in the scatter it's from density and the higher you go with the coefficient the more the light will be scattering inside the volume For the absorption, the higher the coefficient uh, absorption index, the denser the smoke will be. So, see, it's more dense. This than one, it's flat. So, we just keep it at 10. Down in the emission, uh, when the virus hole, you have either the flame or the tin be recharged. And I wrote it wrong. Let's refresh. So this is the temperature. So better to use a flame unless you modify the temperature a little bit. Refresh. And I went very high. Let's say 50. And that's the render. couple of the frames here and there yeah very nice smoke maybe this one rolling maybe if we add more debris and more fragments or make it like a metal bending it will look even nicer or this one move back when this one explodes the front but anyway hopefully you like it thank you for your support